Okay, let's just talk about moving towards or moving away from and understand what this really means. Let's uh, use wealth as an example. Yeah. Most, most people want to make more money. And so let's say that over on this side is poverty. Okay. So this is poverty and the person has, has not got what they want. Whereas on the opposite side is wealth and abundance. And again, whatever that might be. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen, I remember when we used to train for rugby, we used to take, and sprinters do this as well, we used to take rubber bands or like inner tubes of a bicycle and you put it around your waist and you have somebody else standing behind you, holding you. And so you've really got to be pumping your legs to be running and pulling that person. Of course, as soon as you stop pumping, that rubber band starts pulling you back. And so let's think about this. People that move away from, imagine that this rubber band is around their waist and around a pole at poverty. And they go and they say, you know what, I don't want to be poor. I don't want to be poor. I don't want to be poor. I don't want to struggle. And it looks like they're moving where? It looks like they're moving towards wealth and abundance. The problem is that their focus is on the thing that they don't want. The focus is on poverty. And so what happens is the motivation, as soon as they get far enough away from poverty, as soon as they get far enough away from the thing that they don't want, they feel that they can relax a little bit. And the motivation is now not so much to be pushing away. And as the motivation starts to subside a bit, and they're not putting in all that energy and pushing away. They create things in their life. They cre Have you ever seen people that self-sabotage? And so what happens is that rubber band now pulls them back. And pulls them back to this thing that they don't want. Whereas if the focus is on the thing that they do want. Well, example, wealth and abundance. And the motivation is moving towards what they want. It's like the rubber band is pushing. The unconscious mind, the reticular activating system, we'll talk about these things, start pulling and helping towards the thing that they want and getting what they want. In fact, this is true. Uh, now, I'm not saying that Donald Trump is one way or the other. However, it's a great story and it's very indicative of what happens. You know, Donald Trump, some people think that uh, you know he had he, he got loads and loads of money from his parents. Well, he didn't. He, he got some money, but most of what he's created, he's created himself. And so he moved away, and he, he became a billionaire. Of course, life was good. And what happened? He lost everything. And he redid it. And he became a billionaire. And what happened? He lost everything. In fact, I think he's been bankrupt in one description or another four or five times. And so every time he gets far enough away from poverty, bankruptcy, something happens. We create something in our life to pull us back to the thing that we don't want. And so this is our idea of moving away from what we do or don't want or moving towards what we do want. So as we think about NLP and coaching and whatever other modalities we do, our focus needs to be on the thing that we do want.